Hi y'all, I am Lisa and this is The Backward Glance and today I have a haul for you. A little dark back here, but I think you can see I got a ton of shoes and a few other things. I went to a consignment store. I actually drove quite a ways yesterday to hit this store when they were having an additional sale on the items that were older in their store that are normally on sale, but they were adding a sale on top of that. And I recently discovered this store. Um, basically, I love it. It's the first consignment store that I feel like I can go into and actually get a good amount of things. Uh, part of the reason being, unfortunately, for their consigners, they really just don't know their stuff there. And uh, in the last haul that I believe I posted, I had gone there and I found a long shop bag for $5, and that was the regular price, not a sale price. They actually marked this bag at $5. I sent it into the real reel, and they are going to list it for $165. So there are some good deals to be found in some consignment stores. And almost everything that I'm going to show you today, I got at 90% off of what they had it marked. So I really got some good deals. And let's just get into it. Obviously I have a ton of shoes, but I have a few belts and things that I'm going to show you first. And this first item might be the highest profit item that is in this haul. And this is a belt. It is by a brand called BB Simon. It is a women's extra large. Here is the brand name on there. I realize that it's a little reflective. Um, it's also marked here. This belt is covered in bling and it is unfortunately missing one small stone which I actually think happened after I purchased it. So that's a bummer. Um, I'm gonna get this listed and into a bag right away so that I can't potentially damage it anymore. This belt will be listed for $120. And then I'll probably take offers eventually down to like 80 bucks. The next belt is going to be just like maybe a $12 flip, but I had to get this because just the style of it. Um, it has this brass buckle that is a little owl and it is genuine leather. It's a women's size 2XL, so that's kind of nice. Nothing real special, but I only paid 39 cents for this plus tax, so. The third and last belt that I'm gonna show you is this um, Polo Ralph Lauren. Oh, that's hard to see. Sorry, the lighting has been super weird all day, so we're just making the best of it. It has this very cool closure. If I can get it. It's like a wooden peg. So yeah, I thought that was really cool. Someone else has this belt listed as vintage Ralph Lauren for like 129 or even 149. I can't remember, but that I think is crazy. And <laughs> this one I will probably list a little over 30 and then hope for like something over 20. And the last item in this section I found in the belts, but it is not a belt, it is a purse strap. So if somebody is missing their crossbody purse, this, um, the odds of you being able to see this are probably not good. This is Brahmin. Sorry enough with trying to get things to focus. So um, Brahmin purses are very expensive. I actually did look this up and replacement straps have sold for between 20 and 30 bucks before. Um, ironically, this store has a super fake Brahmin in their designer case that has been there since I started going, which was only a little over a month ago um, when I first went into that store. But this is a real Brahmin and it was just with their belt and I paid 39 cents for it. So too bad the bag wasn't there. Uh, speaking of bags, I did get one purse and this is a Michael Kors. I think it's called like the Bedford. I looked up style names on almost everything I'm going to show you, but there's so much 
that I just don't remember. So, uh, pretty nice condition on this. Shows just a little bit of wear. It is Michael by Michael Kors, so a little bit of the lower end, but it has a great sell through rate. Um, yeah, let's just get into the shoes here in no particular order. Uh, these do not have a great sell-through rate. I was a little bit disappointed when I got home and looked them up. I didn't think they'd be high profit anyway, but they are just Sam Edelman. Um, if you can kind of see that embossed in there. And I just thought for the season, paid a couple bucks for them, something good to have in my store. I got these cute little heels um, maybe not perfect for the season but nice I think this is wool it feels like wool and then this is like a gunmetal gray a little darker than it looks on the camera scallop design and these are Kate Spade and unfortunately the store did put stickers like right on the leather bottoms and when you wear these you can see that bottom Part. You know, I mean, I don't know how much it's going to detract from the value, but I do think that that's unfortunate. And it took me a long time to, I used a, like a, a wet wipe with aloe in it and got most of the sticky residue off, but never going to get that mark out, which is unfortunate. Next pair of shoes is also not great for the season, but I picked them up because they are made well and they are a women's size 10 with very little wear I mean no heel drag a little bit of wear there they have some loose threads that need to be clipped and basically they wrap around the ankle and they have these little tassels so definitely more of a spring summer item but that's okay I only paid a couple bucks for them these out of the way here I got another Michael Michael Kors item and these are not brand new but they do have the box which is nice and these are um, I believe they're called the Kiera and they're a pretty pink suede pump so I like this style um, it doesn't look like it has a great sell-through rate but again when I pay so little I think I can price it pretty competitively and I think not a lot of people have this color and not a lot of people have the box so maybe that will be a selling point. Uh, on the Michael Michael Kors track the last item I got from that brand is also this pair of shoes. These are called I think the Alley Trainer. They're in excellent condition on the bottom but this shoe it has a little white mark that I'm sure I can wipe off, but it also has this, and I think I'll hit that with a little black polish just to make it less obvious, but obviously I'll disclose it, so I don't know what happened there, but um, those are pretty nice pair of shoes. This pair I probably should have left behind, but it was only like a buck fifty, and um, they are Donald Pliner. No, if you can kind of see that name there. It's an expensive brand. They show like maybe a little more wear than I wish they did. And when I looked up this style, they just don't sell that well. So some of his shoes sell pretty well. Some of them don't. I've got them, so I will list them and uh, hopefully eventually someone will buy them. Uh, some of these items I'm also going to be sending to either Thread Up Lux or The Real Real. I'm going to try Thread Up Lux for the first time coming up soon, so I'll let you know how that goes. Which actually, this is an item that will probably end up there. These are Stuart Weitzman. God, that's just a little debris on there. Um, just a nice brown suede shoe that has clearly never been worn. Um... This is a brand I usually do send to the Real Real. It does not sell that well for me on eBay, but sometimes I get a sale on there. This is a pair that I'm not hoping to get too much out of, but they were so inexpensive. They're just Doc Martens. Uh, they're not the traditional kind with the big kind of platform sole, and I don't know how popular this style is, but for a couple bucks, they're in good condition. Uh, these are a women's size 8. Thank you. 
another pair of shoes here. These are by Camper, and they're kind of an interesting, I could not find the style name. They've got like a drawstring adjustable closure on them. There is the name Camper. I've only sold this brand once. It did not sell fast, but it did get a lot of views and a lot of watchers, so I think that this brand has a good following, and we will see how those do. Next up is a good old pair of Keens, and I have never picked up this style before with the kind of clog, and I could not find the style name on these either, so we'll see how those do. Um, I'm just thinking maybe 20 bucks. They did put a security tag. They're ruining some of their items with these security tags. It's a little bit of a disappointment. Um, even the clothing, they'll just put it like right through the middle somewhere and then you get a little hole. So I'll have to disclose that. On some items they do a better job of putting it in a place where you won't see it. Uh, these will get listed, but probably go in my next box to the Real Real or Thread Up Lux, uh, because I just don't have good luck selling this brand on eBay unless it's like branded on the shoe. So this is Salvatore Ferragamo. These are a bigger size. They're a women's size 10. So I thought that they were worth picking up. 10 is kind of a sweet spot for me, and they are this croc embossed, which I'm hearing is trendy for the fall, so maybe someone will want those. These ones I picked up actually not on the 90% off sale, but I did get 60% off, and I just really like these. I saw them last time I was there, and they weren't on sale yet, and so I didn't pick them up. These are a logo by Lori Goldstein. I've never sold shoes by this brand. I sell the clothes. It's not a super um, high retailing brand, and I wouldn't say that these are the highest quality of boot, but they have never been worn, They so they're in great condition. They're super cute. Somebody sold a pair for $49, so that's what I'm listing mine for, and they are a women's 7.5 medium, and they will be the only ones listed, so we'll see how that goes. Um, they're not real leather. They're real calf hair, but they're not real leather, so I'm just thinking, you know, the quality is not amazing on these, but I really like the style. These, however, are very nice quality, and I was thrilled to find these. Um, these are Nayat. You can see that. These are made in Israel. They're a new book, so they're a smooth new book, and then like a crackle. And again, these have clearly never been worn. They have the side zip and then the decorative buckle. These are an excellent size in my opinion, as far as getting a high dollar amount, maybe not as far as selling them quickly. They're a uh, women's 11 or 11 and a half, so they're a 42, and that's what their size chart um, says that that is. So yeah, I really like these. I'm, I think I listed these at 78. A few of these are listed. Um, might be aiming a little high, but I feel like it's hard to find shoes in that size, so. All right, these are perfect for the season. I hope somebody buys them before too long. Um, this is another pair of Donald Pliner shoes. I think these ones will definitely do better than those wedges that I showed you. Just a really soft leather with this leopard print and little bit faded, but I think that's intentional and just a very little bit of wear. So I really like these. I listed these around $88. Uh, this is one of my favorites, and it's not because I think it's going to do the best. It's because I've never found this brand, and I have been on the lookout for a while. And so I was really excited to find these. And here's an example of a brand that they weren't aware of. Um, how hard is it at a consignment store to just look up the brands really quick if you don't know? I'm not complaining, I'm just saying if I consigned there I would be upset with what they priced these at. So uh, these are by All Saints. 
and All Saints is a very expensive brand. I believe these retailed up between four and five hundred dollars. I did find the style name, which I cannot remember now. Um, these I will list, but All Saints has a terrible sell through on eBay. I will probably send them in my next box to the Real Real. It is not on their designer list. They do, however, stock it, and they put decent prices. They would probably price these between seventy-five and a hundred dollars. So. I will try and send it in and see if they accept it. Let me tell you what size these are. They are a 40, so I don't know if that's like a 10 maybe. Uh, next up is, in contrast to those which were, by the way, the full price on those was $19.99. And they had been there for long enough to be marked down to 80% off. And I got an extra 10 because of the sale of the day. So I paid just over $2 when you figure tax in. Um, these were, however, in the case and marked $110, which I just don't know where they come up with these prices. Uh, these are Picolinos. And... They're just a nice slouchy suede with a smooth leather here, nice little harness detail. Um, so I ended up paying 11 plus tax for these, still a little less than Goodwill. I'm sure would have put like $12.99 on these, so I'm okay with that. Uh, not going to be like the highest profit item. Definitely need a little bit of leather conditioner, but I think they're nice and perfect for this season. Another pair of boots here, and these are Uggs. These are a bit of a smaller size. They are a size 6. They do show somewhere. I think this is the worst spot, some rubbing on the suede. These are called the Kona boot, and uh, the Sherpa lining is in pretty good condition, so I'm hoping that I can move these along fairly quickly. This is a brand I've never picked up, and I see it all the time. And I'm sure you do too. It's Franco Sardo. They make beautiful shoes. They look high quality. I've never owned a pair. Um, there is the logo across the bottom there. But I picked these up because they were 90% off. And I couldn't resist them, the fact that they are over the knee boots. So I'm hoping that just based on the style, maybe I can get like 25 to 35 for these boots. And let's see, they're a nine, so that's a pretty good size. And uh, my favorite item for the shoes, and then I just have one more item to show you. These are not from the same trip. I actually had my partner stop there a few days ago and pick these up because I had written down the date that they would be on sale. <laughs> and uh, he was traveling and I was like, you gotta stop at that store and see if those Lucchese boots are still there. So these are Lucchese, definitely worn, but gorgeous. These were originally priced at 110, which is a fair price. And then when I first saw them, they were 60% um, off, and I almost got them because I thought I could still make a profit. Then they went 80% off, and I had him go get them, and I could not believe that they were still there. I mean, just I can't even with how gorgeous they are. They fit me. They're an eight and a half. I usually wear a seven and a half or an eight. They fit me. There's a little bit of room, but it's like super comf comfy. So I'm going to list them. But if an occasion comes where I feel like wearing these boots, I'm going to take them down if I still have them, wear them, and put them back up because I absolutely love these. They're just gorgeous. Oh, they're almost knee high. Um, what I will say, just in case there's someone watching this who's thinking about popping over to my shop and grabbing these, they definitely are for someone with fairly skinny legs. I fit into them, but the leg is snug. Um, if you have like wider calves, these are not the boots for you. And the last thing that I wanted to show you is not a name brand, nothing crazy, just something that I picked up because I liked it. It's this leather jacket. Uh, the brand is called Bonus. Fairly vintage, I believe, and it's a motorcycle jacket. I believe it's a woman's because it's like a little bit cropped. 
And yeah, it's just really cool. Definitely shows somewhere like around the rims, but um, this is just something I'm going to try and get like 35 or 45 bucks out of because honestly, it's too good to let it just, I don't know what they do with their stuff when it absolutely doesn't sell, but this was on 90% off, so it didn't have much life left there. And this is like a real motorcycle jacket. It's not a you know, free people, vegan leather, moto jacket. This is a genuine leather, heavy duty uh, motorcycle jacket. And I hope to pass it along to someone who's really going to love it. So that's everything that I have to show you. If you saw something you are interested in, feel free to leave a comment down below and uh, we can work out a deal. Otherwise, this stuff is going to be listed in my eBay store. Some of it may be headed to the real, real or thread up blocks sooner than later. As always, feel free to like, dislike, comment, or subscribe to my channel. And thanks a lot for watching.